I was in an electronics store recently, and because my brain is permanently wired for WordPress, I started thinking about how easy they were making it for me to spend my money and how we might be able to use that same technique on our websites. There's two key strategies that they're using that I want to talk about today and also show you on my website. The first thing is super simple. Look how easy they've made it for me to find what I want. Look at the huge labels around the store essentially generating their own navigation menu. So let's have a look at our navigation menus on our websites and essentially how you're going to build one. Nice quick one for anybody who doesn't know, this is my website and this up the top here is my menu. This is what we're looking to do, generate something that gives people a really easy way to navigate and in the end, buy things. This menu or any menu is actually really easy to find. All we're gonna do is we're gonna come across here to appearance. So this is from the WordPress admin dashboard and we're gonna come down and just select menus. This is the page that you're gonna be greeted with and this is showing my navigation menu. You see here, menu name, navigation. This is what is on it. Now, what I have here is a website where when I built it, it wasn't selling anything, it wasn't selling anything through, for example, WooCommerce. Now it does. So in order to get people to my shop, I probably want to add something into my navigation menu. So if we take a look here on the left hand side in the pages, I have a shop page now. So I can click on the shop page and I can add it to my menu. Now I have a shop page on my menu so people can go there really, really easily. Now what I also have is I have somewhat of a sales landing page. It's just here, but it offers a great discount. So I can select that, add that to my existing menu. And then I might just want this to fall underneath the shop. So if I just move that across to the right, that's now a sub item under the shop, nice and straightforward. Then as I come down, you can see all of the information. I obviously don't want it to be called sales landing page. So what if I just call that discounts page? That is certainly likely to get people to click and then maybe use the discount that I have available on that particular page. Of course, you can do this with as many different pages as you like. You can even add individual posts. If you have a particular post that you think would be very beneficial for people to see, maybe you've got some kind of information on there about a product, get that up on your menu as well. We can also add WooCommerce endpoints. So things like orders, account details, we can add those. And then once we've added those to our menu, again, we can pop them all as sub items under the shop so that they don't all become muddled and your menu doesn't become too long. Now you might say, this is all well and good, but how do we get this menu to start with or create another one? It's actually very easy and it's from this exact page that we are already looking at. And you can see just at the top here, create a new menu. So let's just save the changes we've made to this one. Head back up to the top and create a new menu. Now from here, you can see you've got different locations where you can add a menu. Our navigation menu that I just shown you is our primary menu and also what's known as our off canvas menu. But we do have other options. So we could create, for example, a footer menu. Let's just make sure we name this menu. So I'm just gonna call this footer navigation. And then we can create this menu as well. Now the same as before, we can start to add different elements to this particular footer menu. In this instance, I might want things like my account, the checkout, the cart, let's get the shop page back in there and maybe a gallery as well. Let's just add all of those items to the footer navigation menu and save that menu. We have in essence right there created a brand new menu. It's that simple. 
So we can see now we've amended that menu. We can come over here, we can click and go to our shop. We can also select things like our discount page, orders, and account details. So realistically, how much more likely is somebody to buy from this particular website? Now there is a very clear shop link right at the very top of the page. Similarly, if they are a returning customer, how much more likely are they to buy if they have access to everything to do with their account, their orders, their account details, all from a link in the main menu at the top of the page. This may sound incredibly simple, but simply just giving people the opportunity to go and buy is increasing your chances of a sale or conversion exponentially. Let's head down to appearance and let's go to widgets for a second here. So this is going to give us all of the widgets for various different areas, including the sidebar just here. But what I'm looking for, you can see the header just here as well. What I'm looking for is the footer builder widget. And I want to put this into in footer builder widget two. So that's just because of where I want it. This is very much going to depend on your theme and your website. So this is what's in my footer builder widget two already. I'll scroll down and show you what that is. It's this area right here. Now what I want to do is I want to just add something underneath it. So I'm going to go to add block. We're basically using the Gutenberg blocks editor here and I'm going to search for menu so we can find the navigation menu. This one just here. And then that's going to give us all of the options for the menus that we created. The footer navigation, of course, is the one we are looking for. And as we made it, it's all about our store. So I'm going to call it your store. So this means that we're giving people even more of an opportunity to basically locate and find things that are going to allow them to make purchases or make purchasing more easy. So that's that done. We're going to update the page and see what that looks like. Okay, so if we scroll down now to my footer, you can see that we've created that down the bottom here. Your store, my account, checkout, cart, shop, gallery. All different things that are going to allow people easier access to buy items from our store or check up on sales they've already made. You're making the whole purchasing and repurchasing process really, really simple by just allowing people to find what it is they're looking for. Now, I do want to let you know that if this is maybe too much for you or you simply don't think you have time for this, then I would strongly recommend checking out the link in the top pin comment or down in the description to check out WP Beginner Professional Services. It's a whole team of dedicated, amazing web design professionals who are going to be able to do all this kind of thing for you along with much, much more. If you are interested, hit those links and give it a go. The second thing is, did you notice how many big, bold adverts they had around the store? Essentially, how many pieces of POS, point of sale, to catch your eye? They are everywhere to try and make you buy into their current discounts and offers. Well, they have to spread them around the store, hope that you see them and hope that that then encourages you to buy. We are actually at a huge advantage with our web stores because we don't need to do that. We can pick exactly where our ads are going to pop up, exactly where our offers are going to show and we can target them specifically to what is going on on that particular page. So how do we do that? We only need one tool and I'm going to show you how to do it right here. Just click that video.